I don't think I've ever had this reaction to a fragrance before. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Tisha Marie. So girl, Zara just released four new Red Temptation fragrances. All of them are extra day perfumes. I was able to grab two of them. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on these fragrances and letting you know if you should pick them up as well, then let's go ahead and jump right into it. Zara just released four new Red Temptation fragrances. The original Red Temptation, I feel like, is one of, if not the most popular perfume from Zara. Everybody loves it. Everybody raves about it. Everybody compares it to Baccarat Rouge 540. And the four flankers are Red Temptation Vanille, Red Temptation Sandalwood, Red Temptation Bloom, and Red Temptation Tobacco. I did not grab all four fragrances because your girl is on a strict no buy. But when I saw these, I just could not pass them up. So I limited myself to just grabbing two of them. So the two fragrances from this new line that I grabbed, of course, I could not resist the Red Temptation Vanille. And then I also grabbed Red Red Temptation Sandalwood. This is how the bottle looks for these fragrances and I think that these are so pretty. I love that they did them in this red color. These do only come in one size. They come in the 50 ml and I'll list the links below if you guys want to check any of them out. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not but these are extra de parfums. So these are like a step above eau de parfums as far as the amount of like the fragrance oil that you're going to get in this. So the fragrance should be much stronger than your Eau de Parfum. It should last much longer, but I'm not gonna talk y'all's head off. Let's get into the notes of these two fragrances and then I'm gonna spray them and let y'all know what I think about them. I did pull these fragrances up on Zara's app and it does say that they are 35% concentrated. These retail for $45.90 each. So let's take a look at Red Temptation Sandalwood first. Zara is describing this as an elevated reinterpretation of Red Temptation. Elegant and intense sandalwood takes center stage and hence by refined touches of spice, spice white pepper and saffron. A delicate powdery veil of violet and iris heightened the deep woody blend of sophisticated white sandalwood, ambergris, and a creamy and irresistible tonka bee. So when I saw that this fragrance had saffron in it, I knew that I had to add to cart because I love saffron in a fragrance. I also love sandalwood and tonka bean. This fragrance includes all three of those. So let's go ahead and give this a spray and see how it smells. So I am going to go ahead and spray this on my wrist. I'm only going to spray this once though because this is an extra day perfume and I don't want to overwhelm myself and I still have this fragrance to spray as well. So okay so my first impression is that this is a very strong fragrance. I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. It's been a minute since a fragrance has left me speechless but this one is doing it. It's definitely a warm, it's a very warm, cozy, but also very spicy scent. I definitely smell the saffron. I'm also smelling, I don't know if it's the white pepper that I'm smelling. I don't know that I've ever smelled white pepper in a fragrance, but it does have like a spiciness to it. And I don't know if that's coming from the saffron or if it's coming from the white pepper, but it also has a very, a creaminess to it. It's like warm, cozy, spicy, and creamy all at the same time. Girl, <laughs> this does not smell like something that should be coming from Zara. This smells like something that would be in like sacks. This smells very high end. Like it does not smell like a Zara fragrance. Oh, I also didn't even tell y'all that I've never smelled the original Zara Red Temptation perfume. So I don't even know how that smells. I trust the girls when they say that it smells similar to Baccarat. This smells expensive. I was a little bit on the fence about it being, about it being a $45 perfume and only 50 mLs and coming from Zara. But I see why it's priced the way that it is because it is strong. Y'all, I only sprayed one spray. Usually I'll spray like two or three. Usually I'll do like two or three sprays. It's also very much giving me unisex fragrance. I can see a man wearing this and smelling incredible. Incredible. This is not your everyday fragrance. I mean, I would wear it every day because it smells that good, but I don't know, girl. <laughs> like, Zara, y'all did y'all thing with this. You know what this smells like to me? This smells like if Baccarat Rouge had a baby with commodity milk. That's exactly what this smells like to me. This smells phenomenal, okay? Like, 
10 out of 10, 100 out of 10. Go get this one. Let me calm down and gather myself so that we can get into Red Temptation and Benin. I don't know if, even know if I'm gonna be able to like really smell this and give a good opinion on it because the sandalwood one is very strong. But let's go ahead and spray the Red Temptation and Vanille. Ooh, that smells good. You know what? I didn't even read the notes. It says that um, presenting vanilla extract, the maximum expression of our iconic Red Temptation, an intensified fragrance that magnifies its essence, a symphony of spices with saffron as a standout, enriched with luxurious cacao, and a great amount of vanilla, the radiant floral sensuality of jasmine and vanilla orchid evolved to perfection toward a potent fusion of vanilla and amber, creating an irresistible and unforgettable charm. Okay, so this one has saffron too. I don't remember seeing that this one has saffron. I smell the saffron, but it's not as loud as the saffron is in sandalwood. It's a lot more calmed down. It still has uh, some of that spiciness from the saffron, but it's not... I mean, you can definitely still smell the saffron. It's there. I feel like this one has more, more of like that Baccarat DNA, but the vanilla is heavy in this one. So if you are a vanilla lover, but you also really like Baccarat 540, then I think that you would really like this one. This one is a lot more feminine, but I could also see this being unisex too, but it definitely leans a lot more feminine. It's more sweet. Still a little bit spicy, like I said, but it's a lot more sweet. It's still very potent, but it's softer. It's not as loud and heavy as the sandalwood. I get hints of floral, but not too much. Mainly with this one, I smell vanilla and I smell amber. This one still is warm and cozy, but it's like a sweet warm and cozy. This one smells really pretty really really pretty it's definitely like an elevated fragrance still something that i would not imagine zara would be able to create I'm shook right now because like i said this this is not something that i would think i would get from zara y'all go get these <laughs> go get these if i had to tell y'all to just get one it would be sandalwood because what i don't think i've ever had this reaction to a fragrance before I know I said that I was on a no buy and I was limiting myself to just two of these fragrances, but now I feel like I need, I have to smell tobacco and bloom. I really wish that there was a Zara near me, but the closest Zara to me is two hours away. I will be in a vicinity of a Zara next weekend. So I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll sneak in there and smell tobacco and bloom instead of ordering them super intrigued now like i need to know what the tobacco and the bloom smell like because these smell so good i just sprayed them on skin so i can't say how long they last just the way this one is projecting off of one spray i would bet that this is like a beast mode perfume that is going to last you probably into the next day. I'll pin a comment down below because by the time I post this, it's gonna be like two days later. So I'll pin a comment and let y'all know how long these lasted on my skin. Red Temptation and Vanille, I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. But like I said, the Red Temptation and Sandalwood, 100 out of 10. Run and go get these because I bet you any amount of money that these are gonna sell out once word gets around about these because they are really that good. That's it for my review of these two new fragrances from Zara. Um, if you guys have any questions for me about these two fragrances, then please drop them down below in the comments box. If y'all have smelled these fragrances, let me know what y'all think about them down below in the comments. So that's it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching today. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you like this type of content, make sure you click subscribe and join the family. And that's all for now. I will see y'all next time. All right, bye.